Okay, so welcome to our coding challenge number two. This is going to be our traffic light challenge. Okay, again, first you want to open up your graphical robot C, not the VEX robotics robot C, but graphical. And come in, we can hit OK. Now our program is ready to be all set up for what we're going to use it for. So again, we need to come into robot. We need to make sure that under our communication mode, we have USB only. We also want to check our platform type. Again, we have VEX 2.0 Cortex set up here. And then we are also going to make sure under platform type that we have our natural language project lead the way. That should be all good. Now we can hit new file. Just check to make sure that it all stayed. Yep, we're good to go. All right, next thing we can do, set up our motor and sensors. Okay, for this activity, we're gonna have no motors at all. So you can go into motors and get rid of all that. Again, if you don't have these in your system, it doesn't really make any difference, but it'll make it easier for us to read and follow. Analog sensors, we have none of those as well. Go ahead and clear out all of the analog sensors. Make sure these little drop down menus, you select no sensor, no sensor. Okay, all that we are gonna have in this activity is our digital sensors. So we can go ahead and actually, we'll clear it out first to get rid of the names and things that we're not going to use. And then we will add what we were using. And this activity is going to have three different LEDs. And we're also going to have our push button again. So on the testing board here that you will be te actually testing your code with, I have three LEDs, a red, a yellow, and a green in the pattern to make a stoplight and then we also have our push button in the same spot as before so our push button is going to be in slot 12 so we're going to come in here again remember lowercase to start and then wherever you're going to have a normal space we'll use this capital okay so whenever you would go to a second word is when you'll have that cap next we can do our three leds so why don't we start we have green and digital three and just one word so we can leave it. And one thing I did forget to do for the push button is now go over to our drop down menu. Hit the down arrow. And remember, our push button is a digital in sensor, meaning it's not going to do anything until we put something into the system by pressing the button. So digital in. Our green, we can go up here. It is just a VEX LED. Okay. VEX LED. Then we can do the same thing for yellow and red. Yellow, X LED, red, X LED. Okay, pretty simple setup for this one. That's all we're going to need to use. So we can hit apply, we can hit OK, and now we're ready to write the actual code for our system here. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to add is one of the first things we also added to our first code. We're going to want to use this wait until. We don't need to repeat for this one, we're going to just wait until. That's going to say, do not do anything until our push button is going to be equal to zero. Remember, when it's not pressed, it's equal to one. As soon as you press that button all the way down, it registers a zero, and now it will run our code. It won't do anything until we press it and it reads a zero. And now all we're going to do here is turn our LEDs on and off and wait for different periods of time. So normally a stoplight, the green goes for a while, and then it'll switch to yellow for a couple seconds, and then it'll switch to red and leave that for a little while as well. So we're going to simulate that. On my left here with all my commands, I'm going to scroll down almost all the way to the bottom so I have turn LED on. Now we want to start with the green. so. We need to change which digital input we are turning on. Remember, if you're looking at our motor and sensors, green is in digital three here. So we can hit the drop down menu and we can hit digital three. We will wait for that one, let's say 10 seconds. So on the left side here, I scroll to my wait and I wait 10 seconds. Can you just type that in? And then, in the same spot where I found turn LED on, I can turn LED off. And make sure you select the correct LED that you're turning off. So I've 
waiting till I press the button. Turns on the LED as soon as I press that button. It's going to wait 10 seconds, and then it's going to turn that LED off. The next thing I'll have to do, this is for our green. We will then wait for our yellow. We'll turn it on, wait three seconds and turn it off. And then we will have to turn on our red, wait five seconds and turn that off. And that's it. This does not need to repeat. It can if you want to. But this is our main setup for the code other than adding the yellow and red LEDs into this. So let's finish up writing our code. We will download it to our test bed and we'll see what we get. And just like last time, we are going to plug one end of our orange cable into the computer, the other into our VEX 2.0 Cortex. Again, make sure your power is then turned on by the switch. Make sure your battery is plugged in. When you get all green lights, you are good to go. And now what we can do is get our program actually onto the Cortex. So we have our finished program written for whatever challenge you're doing. This is for the first challenge, but you need yours for this challenge. Hit compile program, download the robot, and if this message log pops up, just click back to your program. It's just showing you what the computer's doing. And now at this point, our program should be downloaded. We can see by the sensors at the bottom that they are ready to read when we press the button. So let's get ready to hit start and run our program. So here we are, let's press start. And this is going to then allow us to, whenever we are ready, press the button. Make sure it's plugged into port 12. You have our three LEDs plugged in correctly. So our program should work. So let's press the push button and run our traffic light. There we go. We see you have the green for 10 seconds. And then we're going to switch over to yellow for 3 seconds. And then we're going to go to red for five seconds. You could add the repeat command and run this over and over again, or once, just like a regular traffic light. If yours is lighting up in the correct order for the amount of time, then you're all set. Thanks for watching.